Japan Atomic Energy Agency is the largest national research institute in Japan. Our advanced science research center conduct basic sciences. We are especially keen on the collaboration between nuclear physics and material science. We try to get a new physics of matter. The Japan Atomic Energy Agency has many large experimental facilities. We encourage unique research which cannot be done in other places. We also financially support the international collaboration using the REME program. REME means Dawn in Japanese and we hope to contribute to the dawn of major physics breakthroughs. I am an experimental nuclear physicist. I realized that uh, at ASRC there is one of the world leading groups in the study of super heavy elements. I applied and I was extraordinarily happy when I realized that I got a job. So the place where we are here is, uh, is the Tokai Tandem Accelerator Laboratory. It's the place where we can get the most uh, energetic beams of ions to bombard our targets. What's also special is that we can use actinide targets in our laboratory, which due to the radiation concerns is very rare. Very recently from uh, the United States, we managed to import 0.5 micrograms of Einsteinium. As a nuclear chemist, for us, it's really important the process of separation we are developing right now. We have to deposit 0.15 micrograms of material on a really thin layer. Doing such a small target is our challenge because it's the smallest target that we have ever done before. The properties of these elements that we can study permit us to improve our predictions of what are the heaviest possible elements that can exist in the universe. For the field of the condensed matter physics, the actinide is very interesting. For example, ferromagnetic superconductor has been found only in uranium compounds. I think in actinide compounds, many new types of the superconductivity can be found in the future. We are intensively studying uranium ruthenium to silicon 2. A mysterious phase transition takes place at 17 Kelvin. In order to make the extremely high quality single crystal, we have special method we call electron transport purifying method. We have developed the measurement under extreme condition. The response can identify the phase transition. Conventional electronics utilize the coupling between electric charge current and the mechanical motion. In the field of spintronics, in particular, our research is uh, to develop uh, the uh, interconversion between the uh, spin current and mechanical rotation. Uh, recently, uh, the predictions have been demonstrated by our experimentalists. In principle, the coupling between the spin uh, angular momentum and mechanical rotation universally emerges in the condensed matter system and hadron quark system. Now uh, we are discussing the coupling between the quark spins and the mechanical rotation, uh, which is expected to uh, be created in the uh, relativistic heavy ion collisions. Since the 2011 earthquake, the Japan Atomic Energy Agency has been the leading national institute for restoration of Fukushima and the decommissioning of nuclear power plants. Basic research is needed to solve many unexpected problems. Cesium was one of the main contaminants after the Fukushima accident. So now it has been incorporated into the natural cycle. One part of my work is in the field where I go and harvest mushrooms and then I study them to know where within the body is the radioactivity and why. The other part of it is growing mushrooms in the lab so that I can know which variables play important roles for mushrooms to uptake the cesium. This research can help us to understand how radioactivity can move within the environment and then come back to cities and affect humans directly. I came here at the Advanced Science Research Center about 10 months ago. Uh, I felt really welcome. 
It's a nice place to be and we do a lot of different activities. So for example, the Kibana class, the Japanese language course classes. I started working at ISRC about four years ago. And from the very beginning, I felt extremely welcomed and extremely happy. At the ASRC, even non-Japanese speaking people can very quickly integrate. The Japan Atomic Energy Agency is located in Tokai village. There are many cultural activities, not only in English, but also in Chinese and Korean. I'm sure that the Tokai is one of the most comfortable places for scientists to live. Tokai is a nice international community with people from all over the world. It's a really nice cultural exchange. If one wants to feel and experience, I think, deep Japan, really traditional Japan, I think from a place like Tokaimura, you can really uh, feel it and live it. I think it's a really good place to do high quality research, but also to get to know more people, to learn a little bit more as well from, about the, the Japanese culture. One of the purposes of our research center is to open new paths for the future of the Japan Atomic Energy Agency. So our research center is open to scientists from all over the world.